He went to the Forest Service and asked what it would take to get permission to do that. If we want to make it down him, I'm like, like, you can't do that. And we're like, well, actually we can. I think the first day a downhill trail got built. It was sort of this one-man army for like a few weeks. It didn't seem like we were doing anything illegal or bad. And there's probably only like eight guys total in the whole valley had suspension bikes. It was rough, man. There was no trail. We were straight up bushwhacking. It's not only steep, but really loose. I was just thinking the whole time, this is, the, this is the, one of the dumbest things I've ever done. And so we started exploring around in this area and we did find um, evidence of, of unauthorized trail construction. And that was a huge concern. I mean, in the beginning, it was kind of this weird feeling of uh, kind of having to look over your shoulder and wondering if, you know, maybe you were actually going to get popped by the feds. This was always the area that was out in the open. We always thought that people were watching us from the street. We were going to get caught. Always walk into them. Uh, all separately and spread out and carry your bike so you wouldn't make a beaten path in. We initially tried to close some of the um, illegal trails or unauthorized trails. Of course, that didn't last for too long, the first couple of attempts. Um, trees got removed, trail got reopened, people kept riding it. Forest Service came in, dropped a bunch of trees, it's so thick now, you're not going to be able to ride out the bottom part of this trail. Again, once a trail is established, it's very hard to get rid of it. We always knew that, you know, it was going to kind of blow up someday. Let's try that again.